Hey everybody, it's Susan from the Social Sales Girls, and I'm here with my friend Vanessa, who I've known for a couple of years, I think, yes. Yes. And she, yeah, I, she has a great little jewelry boutique called the Luxuria Jewelry Boutique, and it has got the most fabulous funky jewelry ever. And Vanessa's got a really good story, because she's kind of I think you're a little bit typical in some ways, Vanessa. You, um, you know, you're heavily invested in your business. You have a beautiful website. You knew exactly what you wanted to do, and then you started training yourself. Because I think is it were you a criminal um, psychologist? psychologist? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a jury. Yeah, no, no, totally <laughs> left brain thinker. <laughs> you knew exactly um, what you had to train yourself in and you went ahead and you spent a lot of time and money absolutely. getting yourself absolutely trained to go, and, but yet you still weren't experiencing any success. And so what's really interesting, guys, is that Vanessa and I just, we've always just kind of connected. We've chit-chatted back and forth for a couple of years at least and um, but I never really tried to sell her anything and uh, you know she was doing her own thing and every now and then I'd say well maybe you should try this but uh, you know it wasn't it wasn't that kind of relationship and then one day she just said yeah I need to get in that inner circle and do the traffic boot camp and everything changed and so I just want to take you back there Vanessa and tell me um, I guess what did your business look like when you finally said I, I want to be in the inner circle and how are you feeling about it well before I just before I joined inner circle it was literally crickets I <laughs> I was not getting any traffic and I had spent thousands on courses on high level courses and I was really at my wit's saying my accountant was saying to me this has got to stop you're spending so much on training on Facebook ads you're not you're not getting any investment back, any return of investment, you need to stop. So I had vowed in 2017, I wouldn't join another group, another course. <laughs> but when the inner circle came up and I saw how, how reasonable it was, I thought, this is my last chance saloon. I'm going to have one more go at this. <laughs> and literally everything changed when I did the first class which was the traffic boot camp. Yeah, you told me that before we started recording. Tell everybody what happened because it's a great story. Um, so um, I, 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 I looked at the, I, I thought about the cost of it and I thought well, it's really reasonable. And um, I joined mm -hmm. and did the Facebook traffic ad. Um, the, was it the first week of traffic boot camp that you did? Week, exactly. I literally <laughs> within 30 minutes of it starting, I just suddenly realized something quite important. That all the money I had been paying for all these other courses that show you how to do all the bells and whistles for Facebook ads, the one thing they never taught you was that you needed a minimum amount of traffic. And that, I got that aha moment from literally the first 30 minutes of traffic boot camp. But it's so true, right? You, I mean, if, how can you retarget it? I didn't realize this. Five people coming. Exactly. And I suddenly realized I could be, uh, all the money I spent on retargeting, all the money I spent on trying to run lookalike ads, custom audience ads, the reason they weren't working was because I didn't have a minimum amount of traffic going to my site and none of the so-called gurus in the industry tell you that at the outset so funny and your course the first 30 minutes um i suddenly had that arm uh -huh. oh. and then i had to laugh when you told me at the end of the week you thought there was a mistake right and you yes, on top of five that's the first week i i <laughs> everything into action I went and looked at my stats and I saw my traffic had really gone up. Um, you know, it was showing what I would normally get across three months. It suddenly was showing <laughs> in the first week. And I was really convinced there was something technical wrong, but I contacted Shopify live chat and said, I think there's something wrong with my stats. She, <laughs> me. she looked at the dashboard and she went, no, actually, there's nothing wrong with your stats. And I was just dumbfounded that that could have happened in the first week. And you probably spent what, maybe ten dollars? Not even that. Yeah, so I spent funny. A dollar 
a dollar per ad and I only ran three ads for the week. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So yeah. funny. Isn't yeah. it? It's, oh, it's amazing. So I'm so excited that that happened to you and you just, you cracked me up because you're like, <laughs> I, so I was, I had to, I had to contact Shopify <laughs> because it must be a mistake. Because that's how I felt because I thought, it couldn't, that couldn't have changed that much in a that week. That much that fast. And also the fact that I was only spending a dollar and on each ad, that's three dollars in the week. When before <laughs> I was spending 10 times that amount. Oh, and that's, that's so why I'm so confused. It's like, yeah. did that much impact? <sighs> Well, you know, that's all simple math. And, and I'll see lots of times, I'll see people in Facebook groups saying, well, I just started my site, um, nobody's coming. Can you look at my site and see why? And I thought, wow, it's kind of like, can you look at my decor in my house and tell me what's wrong without telling me where your house is? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not even, you. I, I feel like you, you don't even need anyone to critique your site until you have at least 3,000 visitors a month, like at least. Otherwise, who cares? Your first, if nobody can find your house, yeah. that it, it doesn't really matter. And so it's so strange that that's not where we all start because it's just basic math, really. Yes. Yeah, it but really is. That's what was so great about the course is you just given an example now. You gave really good analogies um, during the course. Oh, that good for me. I didn't know that. Everybody could relate to. Okay. So you put things in perspective in terms of stats and data, oh, right. and how to run the ads. And I think also the fact that you have such a successful product business as well. Mm. There is a real difference in how you teach. Right. Well, we actually do. I mean, we don't spend a pile of money on Facebook ads at WeSqueak either. So I, th I think we're just really teaching what we do. Like, exactly. I am not interested in spending $500 a day, like ever, you yeah. know, and, and, you know, carrying my laptop around with me to, to yeah. check. I mean, that's just not, I don't think that's how we want to run our businesses or live. And I think that really comes across, um, in the course and also you know within inner circle all the other courses that you do um the copywriting course the list oh but you are a copy genius my friend i get your emails you are oh. really good at coffee i don't know about copy genius yeah. i didn't know that i've done the course and i got it of course <laughs> <laughs> and that's why i think inner circle has been like a real lifeline for me oh, thank because you. i could go in and out of the classroom i can recap on the courses i can go over specific lessons i might have missed or recordings I might have missed. Oh, because it's there. It's yeah. There. Yeah. And especially we're in completely different time zones. Exactly. I, mean, I just rolled out of bed and you've been going for half a day. So, yeah, I know. It's so funny. So, listen, I, I think what you're telling us is that you were kind of frustrated and not sure what you should do next, but you knew you had to stop spending money. Yeah. Yeah. So, and now, of course, you don't spend nearly as much. No. No. Okay. And you have lots of traffic to your site. Your yeah. beautiful site, and and so you weren't selling much of anything before, and now mm. I just looked at your reviews page, which I thought was so clever that your reviews, because your product's not inexpensive, so it's so clever that you had that tab for the reviews to come out. Really smart. Yeah, and you've got lots of them. Yeah, and I think that you know, there's a lot on my website that you helped me with, you know, in terms of my pop up and giving me advice about. Oh, good allowing them to click away from your pop-up but it's still there you know yeah. you gave a lot of advice um as well and also you know just being in the inner circle uh, you can you can jump in and ask questions and everybody so smart people yeah, yeah for you know, sure so so you decided to take the plunge on the 29.99 a month Oh, <laughs> and so everything changed. You're making lots of sales. And um, so where do you think you'd be if you didn't join us? Would you still be? I think I would have given up because I had oh. already been going for about two years. And when you, when you do, you know, you're working on your business every single day. Oh, yeah. Any return, you then start to doubt your own abilities. And then you then start to think, well, maybe I'm not cut out for this. Maybe I'm oh. never going to be this person. So you really start, you know, the self-doubt just gets heavier. Oh. So, well, I'm glad then. I yeah, should have tried to sell you earlier. It was a lifeline. 
so weird. I just thought, oh, you know, you know what you're doing. You're clicking away. And, um, you know, I, I never want to be high pressure with people. So I would never say, oh, you should buy this. No, you never ever sold it to me. Yeah. What sold it to me, actually, was hearing, your, hearing you being uh, interviewed on the Shopify podcast. Oh, so funny. I listened to some of the tips, the Facebook ad tips you gave in that podcast. And I thought, wow. And that was just in an hour's interview. Oh. So that was what sold it for me, really. That's so funny. That, yeah. Because that was, I think, that was in, uh, I think it was the beginning of 2016. Yeah. A year. It's more than a year old. So tell yeah. me now, tell us all, actually, we're all probably interested, what's next for you? What do you, what do you see in your perfect world um, for your business in the next year? To be honest, I think I'm practically living it now. Yeah. You do yeah. kind of live the laptop lifestyle, don't you? I do. You an amazing and little life I, there in your, in your beautiful <laughs> cottage. <laughs> and I can see results. I can see the results as a consequence of the actions I take daily. And that's all I wanted because then from those results, you know how to maneuver your, your next course of action. And that's oh, well. Wow wanted really yep a so, plan. you know i suppose in an ideal world my traffic would keep going up and my sales would keep going up and i would keep doing um as i'm doing yeah so you're just going to build on what you have yes i guess oh, wonderful if i if i could turn back the clock i wish i had in a circle two years prior to when I did join. Uh, it did, you know, it's only been around for a year. I know, but it would have <laughs> saved me so much money. Oh. So much money. Well, we're going to make it all back in the next oh, year. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Cause you're a great active participant in the group too. I mean, it's not like you'll sit there and suffer in silence, right? You'll let us know if you're struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And like, yeah because everybody's so, no one's judgmental in that. Group. No, no, no. Yeah, everybody's from on a high tower. Yeah, and everybody's on has the same goal in mind. You know, they want to sell more yeah. of, of of their their thing, their product. Mm. So, um, so that is really exciting. I'm I'm excited for for you for the next year. And I'm also you told me that you're going to join the free um the free round of traffic bootcamp, which yeah. you don't have to because of course you get it in the inner circle. But we have some um, interesting things in that next one that I can't yeah. wait for you to try it on your business. I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So get your dollars ready. Yeah. <laughs> your dollars a day. <laughs> So listen, thank you so much. That was great. I just have always loved talking to you. So oh my really, and I know that Vanessa doesn't like to be on video. Me either, actually. But no. she so kindly <laughs> said she would do it for this because her story is so valid. She's, um, you know, she's evolved from where so many people want, you know, she's gone through that, that hard part, broken through and actually now can say she, you probably feel so much more like a business person now that you actually have sales to match your expenses. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. You do. It's no longer a hobby. Yeah. A very, you you feel it's no longer an expensive hobby that it is now a business that you can oh, officially call it a business. I want to hear what your accountant says. Oh, time. <laughs> well, well I, we do our accounts at the end of March, beginning of April. Okay. Um, so she had a little taste of that just just passed oh, and um, she was what's changed and I was like oh well a lot has changed so she is quite happy because she was saying to me this has got to stop you got to stop it courses I, I was previously buying and none of them seem to be working oh dear so um yeah she's she's a happy bunny now oh that's good well listen thanks again we'll talk yeah, to you I'll see you back in the group okay thank you thanks Susan. bye